Hello family, today is Friday evening. It is October 13th, 2017, and I have come on to make some macro croquettes. Now to make these croquettes family, we have three cans of the chicken of the sea macro. We're going to season with garlic powder, seasoned salt, and lemon pepper. We're going to use some cornmeal, some um, all-purpose flour, a couple eggs, a red bell pepper, green bell pepper, red onion, and we're going to make some fries on the side. Let's get started. Our debut kitchen gadgets of the evening are, this is a bell pepper saver. I got this on clearance at Food for Less, and actually I've had all these guys in my cabinetry and as I've been going through and putting out different things to debut for you guys um, for our cooking segments um, these are just some of the goodies that I have placed out for the night um, tomorrow we're cooking carnitas so um, it was a good thing that I ran into this guy because uh, this is for our guacamole and it is all ceramic um, I got it from the Goodwill for $2.99. Um, I just washed it. It's a little wet, so I'm kind of trying to handle it with care to keep it from breaking. Um, a salsa bowl. We're going to use that on tomorrow as well. This is a banana keeper, and it keeps it from turning brown. And you put the banana in there, and it will not turn brown. Um, these are for our grapes. How cute are they, right? Um, this guy here is for, what is that? You guessed it, garlic. How cute is that, right? Okay, and this is, of course, lemon. 99 cents, aren't they cute? And I've had these for a very long time, and I just completely forgot about them. And as um, I'm going through my cabinetry, I'm running across really cute things that I didn't know that I had and completely forgotten about. Um, so this is for apple and dip to go. But how cute is that, right? Just cute. And then this guy, of course, is for lime. Just too cute, I love it.
Okay, now we're going to take some lemon pepper. Some garlic powder. And some seasoned salt. And if your taste buds desire, you can add some Old Bay. So I'm going to just put just a little bit of that in there as well. Just a little. Okay. So now I don't particularly worry about the um, bones in here because they're so brittle. They cook away to nothing. So you don't really have to really worry about. See, as I'm doing here, see, they just they crumble to nothing. So, you know, it's up to you on whether or not you want to take them out or not. Or you want to leave them in. It's completely up to you on that. But, you know, it's not really necessary that you take them out because they kind of cook away to nothing. So, you won't have to really worry about getting caught up with the bones like that because they're very brittle. Okay, now I'm going to take some flour. And some cornmeal. You can make it to your specifications as to how thick you want the consistency to be. But you're making them in croquettes, so just factor that. And um, you're also going to put some eggs in there as well to loosen them up. But... So truly there's not much of a measurement to do. I'm going to add one more egg. Looks like it's going to need it. So. Sometimes, let me tell you something really quick. Sometimes it's really a good, um, it's really a good, uh, What's the word I'm trying to gather? Good practice to crack your eggs in a bowl first before cracking them inside of your dish because you don't know the quality of the eggs. You aren't able to see that on the outside. And the only way you're able to truly measure their freshness with them still being inside of a closed shell is you would put them in water and if they sink to the bottom they're fresh and if they float to the top they're not as fresh but i know that i had just bought these so i'm just taking for granted that it was fresh so let's get our skillet ready
Um, me personally, I pull forward sometimes uh, when I'm peeling my potatoes and such. But some people go that way. You know what I'm saying? And they go away from themselves. So whatever is your comfort. For me, it doesn't matter really. But I am a lefty and it's just something about pulling it forward for me.
three cans of macro yielded 13 patties. Oh, it's hot. Sheesh. And another little thin one. There we go. This is my portion. Bon appetit, family. Good night. Bye-bye for now.